ready. Here we go. Um, what? Tell me what is a function. What does it mean to be a function? It does that thing. That thing, that thing. No, okay. Functions. Nobody not continuity. Okay, graphically, what does it mean to be a function? <laughs> Let me start. I know y'all know this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, it, there's one and only one output for each input. Output meaning what, graphically? Your Y. Out, input meaning X, right? <laughs> So, yeah, right? So if you think about it on a graph, um, if these points, let's say this was 2, 1, and 2, 5. These would not be a function if this was a set here. It's a set relation. This would not be a function because two, the val the input two has two outputs, right? Does that make sense? You may have tested it with something, or us is the way I always taught it, with a vertical line test. Do you remember that? Vertical line test. If you take a vertical line anywhere on the graph. It could be a whole graph. And it, what do y'all keep looking at? What are y'all talking about? Um, and it ever crosses more than one time, it's not a function. Okay? More than one point, right. More than one. If it hits more than one point. Um, and I'll show you a couple examples. It's not a really good, it's not really good with just two points to see. That's not a function though. It's undefined. I'm going to give you two graphs. This one, do you know what that's called? Parabola. A parabola. It's the graph of a what? Oh, yes. Quadratic. 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 I'm also going gonna to give you the graph of its inverse here on its side. Now I want you to tell me one of these is a function and one of them is not. This one's a function, because if I took a vertical line, and I don't take my pencil all the time, and I came across, it's okay. never going to touch more than one point at a time, right? Okay. Vertical line will never hit more than one time okay. on that graph, right? Anywhere I put it, it'll never intersect more than one time. Every, there's one and only one output for every single input. But if I come over here to this one, if I drop the vertical line right here, look, it intersects twice. So it is not a function. Not. Because that input, that x value, has two corresponding y values, right? If I'm on, if I'm on a coordinate plane, this might be 1, 3. This one, one, seven. But the value one has two outputs. So, so it's not a function. So, so when you begin this problem, you just leave them alone? Like, I'm just, right now, I'm just asking you function or not and why. Okay. okay. Yes. If they have the same x coordinates with different y coordinates, it's not a function. Okay. So if I gave you a table of values and the x coordinates are repeated, okay then that x value has more than one output and it's not a function. Does that make sense? What about the y's? The y's can't repeat. We're going, to talk, we're going to talk about that. That has to do with it being 1 to 1 and on 2. And we're going to get to that. So basically the number is repeated into points at some If the x coordinate is repeated. The y coordinate can repeat. That doesn't have to do because here 
these are at the same height. This might be 1, 7, and this might be negative 1, 7, but it's still a function. Okay? It's the x's. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Vertical line test. Anywhere a vertical line intersects more than once, then it's not a function. But if it never will intersect more than once, then it is a function. Does that make sense? Okay. There's some other characteristics of functions that we need to talk about. One is called one-to-one. -one. Does anybody know what one-to-one -one means? I bet Marshall knows. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Every and and your book uses your book uses a mapping. <laughs> Is my pen not? Every point, and I'm gonna. Well, actually, I should say every input. Sorry, I'm trying. Every input corresponds or pairs with. One unique output. Now, what does that mean? They have to be different. So remember, we said it could that y could repeat and it would still be a function, but it's not one to one when it does that. Does that make sense? So here, not only is it a function, so no x's repeat, also no y's repeat. If that makes sense. So maybe I have something like. It is a function. It's still a function. So by being a function, it means the x's don't repeat, right? Mm -hmm. One to one means not only do the x's not repeat, but neither do the y's. Uh, okay. Can you think of a graph that might be one to one? Can you think of an easy graph that might, that might happen with? Every x has a unique y. Just a linear equation. Absolutely. As long as it's not a vertical or horizontal line, then yes, because if you think about a line, any line really, is it a function? Why? <laughs> vertical line, vertical line, it passes the vertical line test. There's no x's that repeat. There's no, at no point does any one x value coordinate with two different y values, right? Is it one-to-one, though? No. Yes. Yes. Does every x have a unique y value? No. Well, it's not saying that the numbers themselves are the same. It's no. saying, is there ever a point where maybe this, x, this y value of 1 might have, I mean, the x value of 1 will have another y that goes with it? No. 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 What do you right? mean? Let me show you one that's not one to one. How about that? Let's look at the parabola. We'll come back to this one. Look at the parabola. So that, that was a one-to-one? -one? Yes. Yes, that was a one-to-one. -one. This one is not. This one is a function, but it's not one-to-one, -one, and I want you to see why. Let me give you some points on here. And I know we haven't graphed these yet, but one, one, negative one, one, two, four, negative two, four. So is it a function, yes or no? Yes, why? It passes the vertical line test, right? The x's have not repeated for any different y values. Does that make sense? So yes, it's a function. Yes. Okay. And I'll tell you, an easy way to check to see if it's one-to-one. -one. This is the vertical line test, right? One-to-one -one means that not only do the x's not repeat, but the y's don't repeat also. So in other words, look at this. Does every 
huger. Does every x value have a unique y value? In other words, a y value that's not used anywhere else. No, when x is 2, y is 4. Is 4 unique on this graph? No, why? It's used again here, right? So it's not 1 to 1. Yeah. No, that's not the only time. There's lots of graphs we'll do. We're fixing to get into some polynomials and things. Just, I want you to be able to look at any graph and tell it, is it, is it a function, is it one to one? Can it be, so it's just one line, right? So I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. If we use vertical line test, yeah. Um, is it, so if the numbers ever like the index numbers ever written like the Correct. That is not one to one because of the four, not because of the twos. All right, look, if we use vertical line test for function to test functionality, we can use a horizontal line test to see if it's one to one, okay? If it passes vertical and it passes horizontal, does this one pass horizontal? Yes. No. Horizontal. No, because it intersects twice. So, if it intersects twice, it's not one to one. Okay, one to one means every single x has a unique y, meaning it cannot that y cannot be used again. Now go back to the line. Go back to the line, and let's put some points. Um, two, two, negative one, negative one, negative two, negative two. We know it's a function, right? It passes vertical line test, but is it one to one? Yes. Yes, it passes horizontal line test also, a horizontal line. And if you look, every x has a y that only goes with that. No y's are ever repeated. You never have another value of two here, right? Any value of two would happen somewhere, come on, pen, please work would happen somewhere on this line, and that line's never going to intersect there again. You'll never have another value of 2. Every y happens only one time. Does that so make sense? So it's a function if it passes the vertical line test and the horizontal line test? Horizontal line test doesn't test functionality. It tests to see if it's one to one. It actually tests the inverse functionality, but we'll get to that later. For right now, yeah. <laughs> what is it? And if it's a function that also passes, and this is the key, it has to be a function. So if it's a function, if it passes both, it's one to one. If it just passes horizontal, it's not one to one. Understand that? Because if it only passes horizontal, but doesn't pass vertical, it's not a function anyway. And only functions are one to one. Functions have to pass both. Does that make sense? Yeah. Vertical and horizontal. Passes just vertical, what is it? Function. Function. If it passes only horizontal, what is it? It's not. Nothing. Not a function, it's nothing. What if it passes both? No, it's one. What if it fails both? It's nothing. Nothing. Not a function. Y'all with me? Yes. Okay. So you can't just draw random lines on a graph. It has to be a function. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you with me so far? All right. Tell me. Oh, I hate to throw this one in there. It's not my favorite. Oh, yeah, on to. Not to be confused with one to one. Okay. The easiest way I can think for to tell you this since we're talking about vertical, horizontal, and this, and that, and the other, is this one, it passes the vertical line test, which tells me what? It's a function. But it fails horizontal line test, which tells me what? It's not one-to-one. One. So basically, if it's a function that's not one-to-one, one, we're on two.
Yes, yes, one or the other. What is a parabola? Is the is it a is it? It's an on two. So the name of the function that's not the pass. Okay. The name of the function that fails the HLC is called. The okay. We're, we're. I'm just right now. Right now, I just want you to scratch this. I just want you to worry about one to one and functionality right now. Okay. Because we're going to delve a little bit deeper into that. I just, just right now, one to one and functionality. One, yeah, yeah, one to one. Because I told you a little bit wrong with on two, and I'd rather just come back. I, I want to focus on domain and range more than that. I told you, I don't like on two. Okay, but we're coming back to it. We'll come back to it. All right, let's move on to domain and range. We're not going to, this is just the intro section to this chapter. So I really don't want to delve too deep into any one particular concept. I just want to kind of generalize right now. Domain and range, tell me what it means. What is domain? Domain is x, range is y. Give me another word for domain besides x. Input. Input. That's what I wanted you to say. That's what we've been talking about. Give me another word for range. Output. We will probably, from here on, refer to domain and range and not input-output. Input-output's a little more elementary for us than domain and range. Let me give you a set of numbers, a set of points, and I want you to tell me something about them. Let's say I give you this set of points. What is the domain, let me finish writing them, What is the domain here? Uh, All the x values, right? What about the range? Oh, wow. If I graph these, are they a function? Why? No. It's not one to one though. Like, it is one to one, it's not, not none of them are the same. No, because they're nine to the same. Oh, yeah, the nine is the same. So what is it? Tell me what it is. It's a function. It's a function. How do you know? How can you look at the points and tell? Okay. Is it one to one? No. Why? No, because of the negative nines there. That's exactly right. Questions so far? Let me talk, let me talk to you about two more things and I'll be done. Um, one is function notation because we're going to move away from... Yes. By the way, I told you wrong about on two. On two means... Every input has an output. Oh, no, I have to hurry. Okay. On to, because I don't want to leave that hanging that I told you wrong, and it, it's not. It's not either one-to-one -one or on to. It can be both. On to just means that every input has an output. Every domain value has a range value that corresponds to it. it but it, it, if they repeat, it's fine. As long as everything is mapped to something else, it's on to. Okay. All right. Function notation. Uh, we read this as f of x. My battery's about to die. I'm so sad. Okay. f of x, right? And what that tells me is that everywhere there is an x, whatever's in parentheses replaces that. Y'all should have seen this before, yes? Okay. So if I asked you what's f of 0, what would you do? You just plug in 0 for x. What if I asked you what is f of Noah? It's three times a Noah. <laughs> it's three times. It, the point that I'm getting at is it doesn't matter what's there. Whatever is there is what's taking the place of the variable, right? Easy enough. All right. Um, we talked about, did we talk about independent, dependent? Which one's independent? 
X. Which one's dependent? Y. y. Because Y depends on the value of X. Right? Okay. Um, I feel like this is I'm here, there, and yonder. Two other things, discrete versus continuous. It is exactly what you would think with continuous. Continuous is you can think about it as you can draw the graph without lifting your pencil up. Okay, uh, that parabola, continuous. A line, continuous. Okay, if you can draw it and it's just all smooth and connected, it's continuous. Discrete is made up of points and things that you actually have to pick up your pencil and draw. In other words, if I just had a set of points, like the points that I was given earlier, that's a discrete function. So points, not connected. As you write that down in your book on page 90, there is a graph because I would be remiss if I did not address at least one word problem with you before I set you loose. And it's on bicycling. I want you to look at the graph that's pictured there. This is the, and as you open, I'm gonna read the graph. And just one person from your group can pull it out. That's fine. The graph shows the length of the Tour de France in kilometers each year from 2000 through 2013. And then they've graphed it for you, the time on the bottom versus the distance. It's on page 90. Yep, example four. Is that a continuous or a discrete function? Why? It's points, right? It's just points. Is it a function or not? Nah? Yeah. Why? No, x is the same with corresponding y's, right? Is it one to one? No, no. Same y. Is there ever the same y on there? Yes. Take a horizontal line. Does it ever intersect? I think they're minutely different for each one, so I would say yes, it's one to one. It is also on two y. Every x has a corresponding y, right? What is the domain of this? All the X is the years. That's what I wanted you to say, the years. What is the range? The distance. And so if we wanted the actual range, we'd have to go in and find all those Y values, the actual domain, find all those X. All right, so this is just a quick overview. This is just a boom, here's functions, right? We're going to delve way deeper into this as we go, and we're going to be graphing, and we're going to be doing lots of domains and ranges and fun, fun, fun stuff. But let me give you your homework before my computer dies.